back with something, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, you already know we're back with another Love Island review, episode 42. Excuse me, y'all, if I'm kind of off with these episode numbers because until this, like I said before, it'd be confusing. But let's get straight to it. Okay. Obviously, Jess and Sammy, y'all, them being in the bed, out the bed, in the bed, out the bed. I just hope they stay in the bed this time. I'm happy they did a shock recoupling because obviously they see that people wasn't happy with their couple. So I'm happy that, and obviously it's to get ready for tomorrow night's like episode for the dumping because it's, it is way too many couples right now in the middle. Okay, so to the triangle. Ella, Mitchell, and Abby. To me, Mitchell the whole time y'all is playing a game. Especially with Abby. He was dragging her through the mud. So I am happy at this recoupling that she even told Scott that she was going to choose Scott regardless, even if she went before Ella. Because Mitch, he is telling her one thing, but she's like, I feel like you're not interested anymore. Obviously, like him even pulling away, he's like, no, but I am still interested. It's like your actions is way different from your words. And you're telling Ella that you want to put it all into her and give her the same amount of time against Abby. Like, I think he should have just kept the real with Abby. Hopefully, in tomorrow night episode, Mitch would just tell us the truth. Because to me, he got a cop out. With Ella picking him, him not totally telling Abby that I officially chose Ella over you. Like, no. I hope they run the conversation back. And I hope they talk about even Abby's speech. And I hope we get some drama out of that situation. Because Abby needs to tell Mitch to his face. And Ella needs to get herself involved as well as she already is. And tell Abby that he's been telling me that he chose me. So. I hope they put that all on the table. Now, with Ella B still. Ella B pulling Ella. Even the whole little, the makeup room situation. Obviously, it's tension. We all know why, because of Tyrese. I don't see why girls that deal with boys in the past have a problem with the new girl. Like, I just don't get it. I don't see why the new girl would have a problem with you, but it's just like, girl. To me, Ella B is the one with the issue. You go pick another slot at the makeup room table. You knew that's where Ella sit and do her makeup every morning or every night. So to me, Ella B was just picking with Ella. Even telling her about the whole, it's a shame that this was our last kiss. She could have told her that the first day. Like after the situation in the makeup room is the reason why she even told her that. And I like how Ella is still like, she's lying. I don't know why Tyree, well, I can understand because obviously he wants trust, but you should get how that comment will come across to anybody. And Ella is lying. Girl, you made it seem like he was flirting with you, not that he said 100% closed off. So, I hope Ella, T, OG Ella, confronts Ella B tomorrow. Like, in front of Tyree. And it is cute, y'all, that Tyree was going to tell Ella that he loves her, but obviously it's a little drama right now. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about tonight's episode, what you guys think about. Ella, both Ella and Tyree, also the Ella, Abby, and Mitch situation. Do you guys see Scott and Abby working out? I don't know. It seems like they was getting a little cuddly at the end, and I could see maybe them working out. And who do you guys think is going to get done in tomorrow's episode? My prediction is Amber and Josh will get done. So comment down below. Let me know you guys' prediction. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you notify every time I post a brand new video. Stay blessed, mom.